Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We're taking a look today at the battle of Florida between the Florida Panthers and the Tampa Bay Lightning through the first three games of their Stanley Cup playoff series in the first round. We'll be taking a look at the series so far and what I think of this series. We'll be looking at that in this video. So let's get right into it. So guys, right off the bat, I just want to say... Right now, right now, this is the best series in the first round of the 2021 postseason. Now, the reason I say that, again, I'm an Islander fan, whatever, that, that has no bias to this. This is a great series. The first time we've ever seen the Florida two, two Florida teams battle each other in the postseason. Because for the, for the most part, it was either one of them got in or the other. It was never both. And now they both make the playoffs and they're both playing each other and it is I gotta admit just watching it on camera here the red and the blue really looks good on camera I just just got to bring that out but this is a great matchup uh, these two teams this is igniting that rivalry and that is great it's not only good for the Florida teams it's good for hockey you know when people watch Florida hockey and they see the Panthers and the Lightning fighting each other and stuff they're like what what is this hockey playoffs what the heck and they start watching hockey and you get more hockey fans exactly why the nhl wanted teams in florida growing the game so this is great for hockey it's great for those fans down there specifically florida panthers fans who have not had much to cheer for for the past really since their exist you know the beginning of their existence when they went to the final with van Bre van beesbrook this is a really good opportunity for them to really get things going. And for the Lightning, they're defending their Stanley Cup title. They got a lot that they're playing for as well. So, I don't know. It's been such a great playoff series so far. Certain guys in particular have really stood out in my mind. And I'm going to look at them here. Um, but you look at... Uh, let's take a look. I mean, at the end of the day, the guy that I really noticed for the Florida Panthers, two guys in particular, Sam Bennis, Sam Bennett, who got suspended in game two, came back in game three, scored in the first period. Great, you know, comeback there for Bennett. Probably didn't, you know, wasn't liking sitting on the bench, watching his team get, you know, beat in game two at home. Really, th at the end of game two, I was thinking this is not going to be good. I mean, game one was so good. I, that was Let's be honest, that may have been one of the best hockey games I've watched in really the past four or five years in general. Like, it was that good of a game. Back and forth goals, fighting throughout the whole game. Ryan Lomberg really making a name for himself in the postseason. We'll be getting to Ryan Lomberg later on in this video, but he played really well in game one. Sam Bennett played well in game one, ended up getting suspended, so, you know, we see Braden Point, who else? Braden Point getting the game winner with less than two minutes to go in regulation and just shutting that fan base down in game one. Unreal. The rats thrown on the ice, the fighting, Barkov laying big hits. I mean, it was unreal. And they were able to follow it up with a pretty good game too, but Tampa Bay definitely took more control of that game. Um, and they won that game 3-1. to one. And like I said, going into game three, it was like, ah... Florida couldn't win two at home with their home fans screaming. How are they going to beat Tampa on the road in Tampa? That's going to be really, that's a tough task. And they were able to win this game, game three, out of nowhere. I mean, a back and forth game again. Tampa Bay dominating early. Florida coming back in the third period. And who other than Ryan Lomberg in overtime just a little over, uh, almost six minutes into overtime, he finished the game, scoring his first playoff goal. Ryan Lomberg, who really made a name for himself in game one, picked up his first playoff goal. Not to mention, a great way to score that first goal. The overtime winner in game three to make it a 2-1 series. Now, the road is still looking pretty steep for the Florida Panthers. They are down 2-1 to the Lightning. The Lightning win this second game here at home and make it a 3-1 series now. The Panthers have their backs against the wall going into the rest of this series. And against the Lightning, that could be very difficult. But like I said, the best playoff series so far this year. The Islanders and the Penguins have all of a sudden made things very interesting in Game 3 on Long Island. But 
I gotta admit, the Panthers, this is good. Now, to be fair, we haven't seen the two Canadian teams. We've just started to see them yet going. Winnipeg and Edmonton and Toronto and Montreal. That could be getting a little bit heated, especially with what happened to John Tavares in Game 1 in that Toronto series. That could make things interesting. But for right now, this is the best playoff series in the first round. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What is the best playoff series here in the 2021 postseason so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.